Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. In fact, let's start from verse 30. We'll read from 30 to 32. 30 to 32. It says, as he spoke these words, this is Jesus now. Many believed on him, 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. He said, if you do what? Continue in my word. Then ye are my disciples indeed. And then 32 says, and ye shall know the truth. You will know the truth by starting as you continue somewhere along the lines of your consistency you will encounter something remember the context is continuation not just starting to read not just a five minutes devotional not just a one month study it says if you continue in my word you are activating something that will cause you to eventually encounter the truth it says and if it is truth there is a character of truth it sets free meaning that if you claim to know the word and it still leaves you in bondage or in that situation then the truth of that word the final the uh, how, how do i how do i describe it now when the word of god is broken down the unit of it is truth the capacity to be set free from life's vicissitudes the capacity to not be under the limitations of life to rise by understanding and by the liberating power of truth he says if you continue meaning it will take a while he didn't lie to you he said if ye continue then you are my disciples then he says and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free Ladies and gentlemen, there are many people around the world with scriptures, with books, with tapes, with teachings, attending seminars, and all of them will tell you they have the word. All of them will tell you they have the truth. But we do not see that liberating power of the truth in their lives. Not their spiritual lives, not their finances, not their ministries. They remain in bondage in spite of their supposed encounter with the word. Something is wrong. If it is truth that you meet, the Bible says the truth shall make you, make you. Like I say, make food for me. The food is not there. You are going to enter a kitchen and make it happen. The Bible says the truth, if encountered, can make what does not exist in your life. It, it never said the truth will bring you freedom. There is no freedom anywhere. Like, like if I tell you, make jollof rice for me. As at the time I was speaking, there's no jollof rice. You will search it and not find it. But I said, make it. Are we together? Your intelligence can gather from any market and any location. The cow the vegetables and then combine them in a way that after a few hours there you have plate what you are looking for is freedom but it's not available 
and then the Bible says when you encounter the truth the truth knows what forces to bring together and then all of a sudden something that did not exist will now exist the truth shall make you free free from what free from poverty free from fear free from mediocrity are we together now so the problem usually is that we may have encountered the word but we have not encountered the truth let's talk about it in john chapter 18 please give us verse 33 and we're reading to verse 38 something happened between pilate and jesus please listen and learn the bible says pilate entered into the judgment hall again jesus is being judged now and called jesus and said unto him art thou the king of the jews pilate was asking a question next verse we are reading to 38 jesus answered him sayest thou this thing of thyself or did others tell it of thee that means pilate had an information people were murmuring it outside and he came in he said are you a king looking like this the king of the jews and then the next verse pilate answered am i a jew thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me what hast thou done 36 jesus answered listen my kingdom is not of this world if my kingdom were of this world then would my servants fight that i should not be delivered to the jews but now is my kingdom not from hence 37 he said pilate therefore said unto him art thou a king remember this is a battle of reality and information he's trying to verify something follow me closely thou sayest that i am a king to this end was i born for this cause came i into the world that i should bear witness unto what talk to me please that i should be a testifier of the truth everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice so he's talking of truth now next verse pilate said unto him a question that people never ask what is truth hmm. notice the moment pilate said what is truth jesus said i am a testament of the truth immediately he said i find in him no fault in other words because you are the truth you qualify to be free if it is truth it always sets men free are you getting what i'm saying now so jesus pilate confessed that because you are a testifier of the truth there is no reason why you should be in this situation when truth shows up no matter what it is it must let you go jesus is remaining there was because of his love for us but Pilate said before all, he said, I find no fault in the truth. That's the same way poverty can say, I find no fault. The truth has come. I must give way. This has come. I must give way. When the Lord opened my eyes to this scripture, I said, my goodness. Everywhere Jesus went, that was a system of oppression. It couldn't hold him for long because he was truth. Are we together they held him before a cliff he came out there was scarcity around the truth and the truth said no it shouldn't be and all of a sudden multiplication came because the truth was there are you getting what i'm saying now listen very carefully everywhere the truth went the ministry of that truth was to liberate was to set free when he got into your house no matter what it was that truth made men free he went to the house of Zacchaeus Zacchaeus come down I'm coming to your house and within minutes because Zacchaeus hosted the truth he was free and thou shall know the truth if you ever host the truth then the truth must make you free mm. very powerful revelation that means if we remain in bondage the issue is not just satan the issue is that we may have been receiving scripture and bible study but the truth has not come because when the truth comes the bible says it makes you free it fabricates freedom from wherever and ministers it to you is there anything 
too hard for me to do I am that I am Is there anything too hard for me to do I am that I am Many people keep bragging around with their acquisition of scriptures and their criming of scriptures and their participating in teachings. Listen carefully. The truth is not just a right information. There are many right informations that are not the truth. You have to understand this. You only say an information is correct based on a reference. Unfortunately, the reference itself can be wrong. Are we together now? There is something that science, science has pieced together a body of facts. And whoever aligns with that body of fact with respect to science is walking in the version of the truth. Is that true? But science itself must be vetted by someone higher than it. Are you getting what I'm saying? Culturally speaking, there are there is a system of understanding and behavior built by culture and to the degree to which you align with it, we say you are walking in the truth. So there is a lot of relativity when it has to do with the subject of truth. What is permissible to a person and within a context may not be permissible to another person within another context. But here's what Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, not a truth the truth that means i am the ultimate system of freedom and liberation an encounter with the truth makes men free if you claim to have knowledge of the word of god if you claim to have found something you think is true and it does not produce the requisite freedom then it is not the truth it may be something else. It may be a well-meaning information that is correct based on a historical system of agreement. They have agreed that whoever does it this way. I give you an instance. In our world today, if a woman just looks at herself and says, I want to get pregnant without a man, that is not true as far as the educated opinion of men is concerned. Is that true? But when the truth was ready to find expression, there was a system that was created that would have been told a lie by science. Be careful what you call true and false. There must be a reference because with respect to God, there are some things that are agreed as true by men. But then when it comes to God, God says, no way. Lazarus died. That was the truth. Based on what doctors like David and his colleagues would say, they had checked him and there was no pulse. It was over. But when the truth came, he said, what did you say? Three days, roll away the stone. This is the truth. If it is the truth, he sets men free. Are we together? They buried the truth and covered it in a grave. After three days, the grave opened and the truth came out. If it is truth, then it must set free. The question is, why are we still helplessly under so much bondage we pray we fast we sleep on our bibles we quote bibles we listen to tapes yet it looks like our situation is not even scared of our spiritual investments could it be that we are not encountering the truth even before Pilate, the proof the truth prevailed the moment jesus said look leave the issue of king i am truth Pilate said what is truth and he said this man is free i may not understand what truth is but i'm a victim of the effect of that truth i must let you go i must let you go what if you knew the truth about your life and destiny what if you knew the truth that you were not a victim of situations and circumstances what if what they told you about your upbringing was a lie it was culturally true but from the reference of god is a lie 
What if your past and what he told you were a lie with respect to God? A lie is not a wrong information. A lie is any information that was not brought from God. It's a lie. It doesn't matter how right it is. If it did not originate from God, then it's not true. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 7. 2 Timothy, when you read from verse 3 and verse, uh, chapter 3 and verse 7, the Bible talks about this group of people, zealous people like we are. It says that they are ever learning. Please look up. Ever learning, but never able. Learning does not guarantee an encounter with truth. That you are sitting with a Bible does not mean you are encountering truth. That you are sitting with a tape did you hear the testimony of the dear lady who was listening to the seven days um, prayer and fasting? She said she had been listening to it. Just because you started the tape, started and finished with your ear hearing it does not mean you can counter the truth. She said at that point, a prayer came and light opened. And all of a sudden she received. And the results showed immediately. A friend that had no business helping her. That's the truth making a way now. The truth always makes a way. Don't leave no uncle nonsense. You don't need. Once the truth comes, the truth will find a way around it. Because the truth is not just an information. The truth is also a person. So when the truth comes into the womb of a barren woman, what happens? The truth starts making a way. It finds out what is the issue first. And they said, ah, this woman has no womb. And the truth said, there is still a way. There is still a way. Prophesy to yourself and say, there is still a way. Look at the challenges that stand before you. That you cannot see a way does not mean there is no way. Just stop looking for a way. Let truth come. Truth knows where the way is. Ah! You move mountains. You cause walls to fall. With your power, you perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And I'm standing here only because you made. Sit down, let me tell you. There is no uncle anywhere who is going to help you. There is no... A, an uncle only helps when the truth makes him part of the actors of your breakthrough. Nobody just comes because he knows you. Ye shall know the truth. Many of us are trying to find ways and methods. Whereas the secret is to stay until the truth comes. When the truth comes, light must come. Let me show you something. Let me show you something that will bless you. What's, what's, the, what's the scripture now? Help me, Holy Spirit. Um, Isaiah 29. Isaiah 29. Give us from verse 11 and 12. Isaiah 29, verse 11 and 12. Let me show you that just because you have a book called the Bible in your hand does not mean you have access to truth. Read it with me. He said, and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. It did one that is what? Learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot. Not because I can't open it. It is sealed. Sealed. Next verse. <laughs> and the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. Both the educated and the uneducated stand helpless in the presence of this book. Where is the key? How do men read it? I thought by being learned, I will automatically understand it. It is not science. The book is sealed. There is a spirit with the key that opens it. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. I will forever sing your praise. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. I will forever sing your praise. 
listen listen this book you see has written in it the codes of your destiny but it is always sealed i told you everything glorious is what covered no glorious thing is revealed you don't buy a product without a package so your destiny is there but it is sealed going to school is very important but when it comes to the matters of the spirit my brother my sister don't let the pride of education make a fool of your destiny that's why we have many intellectuals who brag and say what is god a can become c and they are trying to make c out of a forever whereas the maker is truth a foolish man can come with his foolishness and sincerity and say lord i i can't amount to much my life you see is a testament of this they are life to those who find them when you find it it looks like a charm it's impossible for life to keep you down this is not some bragging no if it is the truth if you ever see a mountain start laughing there must be a way there must be a way Pilate looked at Jesus and said if you are a witness of the truth then I find no fault I let you go Are you learning something tonight? It's not just opening the Bible and then reading, oh, James chapter this, the Bible said this, in the name of Jesus, I will never be. That's, that's just, that's, that's scripture. You are just playing games. Many of us keep flattering ourselves for many years, thinking, I'm not saying reading your Bible is not important. I have found the missing key why many well-meaning believers don't get results. They are not lazy. They are more serious than even some of us pastors. Take laziness out of the equation. Why is life hard for many people? What is the mystery of this hardship? Close heavens everywhere. No help, failure, pain. There is a, an explanation. The book that you have been reading is sealed. That you got a message from me to preach does not mean it has been open to you. No, sir. Have you ever opened a scripture and then you are reading, you've been reading it and all of a sudden you see something there that you never saw and then you can mark that day and say something shifted. That, that portion of scripture was open to you. I remember studying about the anointing for many years. I read books and books. A lot of people got their revelation from Good Morning Holy Spirit. You've never had me mention it because i didn't get anything from it i read it good morning holy spirit i was blessed but i didn't see anything there and i just stayed if you continue that's the key and then one day the portals when it opens it is open when jesus stood for to read in the temple the bible says they brought to him the scroll of isaiah it was open and he said this day you have been reading it and thinking it's some prophet somewhere but i am the manifestation of this brothers and sisters let me tell you this if we don't get serious with our lives to find truth we are going to keep convincing ourselves and jumping around quoting scriptures that for a very long time our lives will not capture the levels of freedom that befits one who claims to have that knowledge of truth i know many wonderful lovely men and women of god struggling around the ministry sincere they won't steal nothing they won't do anything notice that both the learned and the unlearned are still victims of the same thing so what is the key i will show you <laughs> ah, i will show you ephesians chapter 3 Ephesians chapter 3. We're going to read from verse 1 to 5. Note this. You know, there are many people who keep talking word of God, word of God, word of God. I, I don't have a problem with it. It is true. But we are missing something very vital. Vital. The book by itself is sealed. You will only read a, you will read stories from it. For this cause, I, Paul, 
a prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. Uh huh. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me to you, word. What is the grace? How that what? Uh huh. He made stop. He made. I didn't learn it. How that by revelation he made who is the he someone came to me and opened the book he made known unto me the mystery as i wrote afore in few words verse 4 whereby when ye read when ye read ye may understand my knowledge the basis of what you are reading is not just that i wrote someone came and opened something to me and i want to help you too because if all you do is to just read you will not find anything it says when you read you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of christ verse 5 which others which in other ages was not made known so this thing is made known it's not studied it's made known it's like occult it is made known if it has not been made known, my brother, my sister, let me tell you, you will fast and pray and never find it. It is made known. A man can receive nothing except it is given. This is how we rest in the kingdom. We keep struggling and thinking it's just by all of these things. No. Your press and then he comes to make it known. If God does not make it known, you will never find it. It is so obvious, yet you will look and look and never find it. It says, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by who is the he? Talk to me, who is the he? So the he comes to you and says, this book cannot open except I am there. The book can give you the word, but the spirit can show you the truth. You need truth. That's what you need. You don't just need word like word like that. When you say this, many believers think you are encouraging people to not be serious about the word of God. Let me tell you in all honesty, I doubt, I, I doubt if I've seen any man that is more passionate about the word of God than me. There may be, but I've not seen one. But I found out that your life is going to be a chronicle of frustrations if you don't understand how truth comes out of the word. It says, which in other ages was not made known to the sons of men as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets. Jeremiah 33, please, and verse 3. Help us, media. Jeremiah chapter 33. Please read with me. Koinonia is projected inside and outside. One to go. Uh-huh. Stop. I will what? I will what? I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Doesn't matter how long you've been studying it. He said you don't know it. That's why the results are not speaking. But when you call on to me, I will answer. And the answer is that I will come and I will show you. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. We have ignored the Holy Spirit and carried Bibles all around, hoping that just by reading it intellectually, we'll be able to put A and B together. And the Bible tells us that the mysteries in this book are sealed. That's why they are called mysteries. When you read the Bible, outside of the ministry of the Holy Spirit, all you will see is potentials for possibilities. You will keep seeing them, but your life will never, never experience them. One of the greatest secrets in my life is the ability to allow the Holy Spirit to open up scripture, open up scripture, open up scripture. John chapter 16, please. We'll begin our reading from verse 12. John chapter 16. We'll begin our reading from verse 12. Read with me, please. One to read. I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Why? Because you are natural and these things are spiritually discerned. Are we together? 
Verse 13. How be it when he the what? The spirit of truth. Not just the Holy Ghost. The spirit of truth is come. What will he do? Please talk to me. He will guide you through the book. He will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear. That shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. He will show you. And you've seen it all through scripture. People are shown things. People are shown things. If you are not shown anything, you will continue bragging around with scripture and never have results. Your assignment is not just to sit down and read your Bible religiously. Your assignment is among other things to cry for the manifestation of the spirit of truth. All scripture was inspired by him. He knows the codes that are enshrined in this book, but it is sealed. It will take hunger to cry for him. But brothers and sisters, when he comes and opens it to you, you and all others will stand in awe of your destiny. This is the mystery behind great men. This is the mystery behind great destinies. A spirit came to them and showed them things. Whether it is in the occult or in the faith life, nobody rises without being shown things. He must show you. And I was taken in the spirit, Ezekiel, and I was shown this. What have you been shown? Or what have you been reading? You have been reading in the name of Jesus, I will never be poor. You have been reading, he owns the cattle on a thousand hills. You have been quoting it. You have been doing everything. But you are just reading potentials. It is sealed. When the spirit comes, he will not quote the scripture. He will show you the quote in the scripture. When the Holy Spirit comes, he will not tell you, no, 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 no. no. He will show you something that may not make sense for another person. There's something God showed me about the anointing. There's something God showed me about growth. There's something God showed me about victory. There's something God showed me on how to deal with enemies. Whatever is not shown you becomes the gate to your destruction. You have to find out what you have not seen and cry with all your heart and say, Lord, show me. Let me tell you how you know you have not sh shown. You, whenever you do what is supposed to be the obvious solution, and it does not work then it means there is more there is more apostle I, I pay my tithe apostle i give apostle i'm a sincere man of god i study my bible all doors are closed there is something that has not been shown you let me use the example of our dear pastor did you think that all the people that rose up for him just came to asaba in the last two months were they always there? So what happened? Why was the climate harsh over him? Look how well-meaning he is. I've been to his meeting once. An adorable man of God and his wife. It's amazing how life does not give the excuse for you being sincere. It doesn't say you are sincere and then no. Sincerity is not the seed for greatness. You can be as sincere as possible and find out that you are a victim of everything bad. You know, pastors come to me and they say, Apostle, I can stand before God and tell you I love God with all my heart. I say, I'm a man of God. If you are lying, I will tell you. And then they now say, Apostle, but why is life treating me this way? Like I told you, was it last week or the week before last? I begin to nod my head in pain because I know that um, the solution is not just to pray. There is something that they don't know. And my brother, my sister, until this book is open to you and your eyes see, your destiny will remain small. We are all gathered today now, scattered across, inside and outside, and those following online. Because God showed a man something. Your generation is dependent on what you see. They are, they are waiting earnestly to say, man of God, what has God shown you that you can bring to the table? 
if all you are taking to destiny is your degree get set for a big shock if all you are taking is just your sincere heart get set for another shock if all you are taking is your uncles that you know my uncle somewhere my auntie somewhere no i don't study the bible to crime scriptures or to preach i search for light i search for truth there are very few people who ever know how i study the bible because if i teach you it will frustrate you i can stay on a scripture for a long time because there is something i'm searching god can show me like a code i can see half of the truth and see the other part two years later and until i see it i will wait but when that code comes pack 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 the seals are open and the results follow no devil stops it when when the seal is broken and open then your life will be a wonder even to you <laughs> favor is here but is sealed there is a mystery to it the anointing there is a mystery the helpers of your destiny are here the problem is not the book the problem is that it is sealed when you are not aware that the book is sealed then you are in trouble because you will continue to read how many churches have continued to read this every sunday sunday after sunday but there is no one to come to testify that this is what god has done please hear me i want you to learn some of you to take years to understand what i'm sharing with you as simple as it sounds your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real your favor is real i testify your favor is real your power is real i testify when the lord gave me the revelation on the body of christ let me tell you this i didn't read it in any book i remember lying down like a child when the lord came with this scripture for this course the lord began to teach me that there are four encounters the son the spirit the word and the body and that the reason why many people never rise in life is because they've had the three encounters but not the body i said so there is something called an encounter with the body and my life changed every true apostle of the lord must deliver a mystery to a generation there must be something god gives you by the spirit this is not just bible study it is that he comes to you he doesn't come to me every time but he comes i remember when god was delivering to me the secret of church growth i read i study i've studied young Gicho's materials studied bishop oyedepo's materials but here he comes the code for your own destiny given to you that someone else will do and will not work for him because it was open for you that's why you see people doing things that should not work but it works hmm. i'm doing my best to try to explain this thing to you sometimes it's very difficult to understand to explain spiritual things all you see is the result that follows but behind those results are strange encounters that walk together and they make a way they make a way brothers and sisters look at me i love you that's why i'm teaching this i can come and just talk to you and we laugh and joke i am so passionate about your results and the way many of us are going about it you will never find it that way i'm telling you this i'm saving your life from frustration so that you will not jump like others have done for many years and then one day you'll find out they are not even in the faith and they say don't bring any jesus talk i've tried him it doesn't work you only tried scripture when you try the truth sit back and watch it make a way strange ways in the wilderness ways that should not be there the truth will cut away out of a rock. The truth will cut away out of a river. 
And you will cross and they will look back and not be able to find the way again. And they'll say, hey, Jimmy, what way did you follow? And you say, I don't know. The truth just made a way. The Egyptians tried to trace the way that the truth made for the Israelites. They couldn't find it. They drowned. The song of Miriam, I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. Even the horses and the rider has been thrown. The same way somebody passes is the same way that kills another person because it has to be a way made by the truth for you. Someone can do a business that lifts him and you do a business the one that kills you because he's sealed. It was not open for you. Someone can use the same word you are speaking to get favor. You will use it and get destruction because you are just speaking. Light of the world You step down into darkness Open my hands Let me see Light of the world you step down into darkness Open my eyes, let me see Sing it one more time You're the light of the world You step down into darkness Open my eyes, let me see Listen When you are not filled with the Holy Spirit you are in a position where you will remain in darkness forever jesus himself told us why he sent us the spirit of truth not just to pray gibberish in tongues no the holy ghost was sent to us not to make us men of god the holy ghost was sent to us not to make us pastors the holy ghost was sent as the opener of the sealed book to guide you into all truth the book is there but it must be opened by the wisdom and the intelligence of one who is not human. He made known unto me. He made known unto me. He made known unto me. First Corinthians chapter 2. Please give it to us. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. Read with me, please. Everyone is projected. Just read and then you write it down. One, two, read. Uh-huh. Not the spirit of the world. Stop. In any case, you must receive a spirit. So there is the spirit of the world that inspires men and opens codes for men based on the laws of life. And they can manipulate it and get some results. And God is saying, so that when you are inspired, you don't think it's the same thing that inspired someone somewhere. There are two spirits. There is the spirit of the world. A man tells you he was just sitting down and he made a discovery. It's a lie. Nobody makes a discovery. A spirit comes to you and opens up a portal of a reality and then you quickly scrabble it and walk around it and the whole world marvels and they call you Albert Einstein and they call you Michael Faraday and they call you the Wright brothers the Bible is saying there is no such thing as just a human invention by yourself it's not true a spirit must come to you and open up what is sealed but the spirit which is of God why? that we may know the things that are freely given to us of God there are things that are freely given so says the book but the spirit of God the spirit of truth comes and opens you so that you will now comprehend and then you walk in the reality the light of it and my brother my sister your life will suddenly change in a way and manner your family members will look at you and say what charm what did you touch look at this come promise if by next week promise suddenly enters a dimension of the anointing a dimension of revelation and let's assume five jeeps come from different people around the world and is parked in front of his house nobody will say promise so you are this hard working someone will call and say promise come where did you go to who did you meet we know 
that the arm of flesh cannot produce that result who assisted you just tell me and he'll say well it's a long story are you ready to do i say i'm ready now it's okay meet me by 11 30. let's go to one corner somewhere so everyone knows you would be you would be unwise to see what god is doing through my life and this ministry and believe it's just hard work no no what more do you need to see to convince you no man can do these things except a spirit be with him with god all things are possible without him on your own there are things that are not possible many of us have been fighting alone do listen to what i'm telling you and you will watch your life change in a way that will surprise you i kept thinking about this and i said lord look at what you've done with my life all because i saw the holy ghost and i said holy spirit i am weak i am dull in myself i'm not condemning myself is the truth i am ignorant i may not even have the strength but if for any reason you can hold my hand i am available just that one decision turned my life around I shared with you about my dream and vision you will get it in different messages i can't remember when i preached exactly that i saw a whole generation of people crying and they were saying there was no food no water and i wanted to go and rescue them but i was weak in myself but then i was determined to go out the moment i stepped out there was a giant mighty man he just held my hands and said let's go And if our God is for us, then help me. Stop us. And if our God is with us, then can Sing one more time. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then prophesy to yourself. For the last time now. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand? What does that sister? Catch what I teach you and watch your enemies criticize you and waste their time. There is nothing that can be done about a man who the Holy Ghost has held his hand. Nothing. It's too late once the holy ghost holds your hand and says let's go you will climb mountains and walk through valleys when the door settles you are still standing and you will say to you be all the glory and men will say how are you doing it it's not by charms it's not by brain work this is not a plus b no you see that i treasure the holy spirit so much to a point that many people just say oh this 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 spirit thing is too much just focus on the word you keep doing it that way and see whether your destiny will be open i believe in the word but the word is useless until the spirit breathes upon it he is the one who gives life to the word the first the first person of the godhead revealed was him not the word the word came after he was revealed in the beginning look at the order God created the heavens and the earth. We didn't have an opportunity to see how that happened. In verse 2, there was darkness. Then the first of the Godhead. If he was the first in the creation of earth, he must be the first in your life too. He's showing you how to come out of chaos. Many of us just stand religiously. Acts chapter this, John chapter this, and we keep jumping around. And the Holy Spirit says, no, it is sealed. That's why an unbeliever will carry the Bible and all he will see is a compendium of controversies. You will see things that don't add up in scripture. God saying this one and God saying another thing and saying, uh -uh, God says doesn't lie. See how many lies he made because you are reading what is sealed. But when the spirit of truth comes, he will open your eyes. Others are looking but you are seeing. All of a sudden, 
you will see something others are not seeing and then you will walk in a dimension they are not working in i cry to god and say lord this man is a weak man you have to help me and the lord said he will help me and all of a sudden my life changed i'm introducing to you not just a book you have it i'm introducing to you not just tongues you can pray in tongues i'm introducing to you not just god in you you have him in you i'm introducing to you what young Cho will call holy spirit my senior partner if anyone ever tells you what is the secret behind apostles life if you say prayer you are lying if you say bible study you are lying if you say worship you are lying if you say sacrifice you are lying all of those are secrets the greatest secret is that a weak man holds a strong god who makes that weak man a strong man that's what god can do that's what god can do the treasure that is in earthen vessel but held by a superior power that no force no cause no witch no devil can stop he told joshua no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life brothers and sisters don't you see it? you have been trying in the flesh you have been doing oh i i think if i if i buy one golf now and i do this and i understand this and that investment i will rise and the holy ghost just stands back and watches the ignorance and you, I, I know let me just get one golf i will be getting ten ten thousand every week i'm a smart businessman then if i get another job in the bank as you are calculating it i'm not saying those things are useless but here he stands the gentle spirit watching your ignorance and your pride punish you how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way how can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit how can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind power at work in you Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life? It's a little here, a little there. You know they Holy Ghost, you're the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God. Hey, you're the Holy Ghost, Center of the King of Kings. You're the Holy Ghost, Seal of the Age to come. You're changing. to me that's the secret no matter how dull you think you are no matter what village let them laugh at you while you walk many people laughed at me years ago for holding his hands they laughed and today they bury their head in shame for holding my hand the holy ghost is not a president of a nation the holy ghost is not the ceo of a bank the one who turned chaos in Genesis 1 verse 2 to light holds your hand and someone laughs at you what pride when he held my hands I knew nothing about the anointing when he held my hands I knew I had no zero wisdom you were better than me when he held my hands I wasn't as smart as you but I was stupid enough to hold him and say no matter what it is i hold your hands i hold your hands he will hold your hand as you go to the nations people will talk and say let's watch what will become of him and swallow their words after many years because there is a hand there is a grace he is the creative power behind this ministry 
the wisdom you see is not the wisdom of a man you will read books and read books and read books and be tired and never find it because it is a is sealed are we together sealed all of the things I do today about the anointing he taught me how could I have known how old am I aren't you seeing that what what is happening is more ancient ancient this is not the wisdom of a man Kadosh. Kadosh. you are mighty on for me to celebrate things like birthdays what what are you celebrating who are you really celebrating take him out of my life and the secret of a foolish man outside of him is revealed but when he stands with you thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph listen I say it again there is nothing you can do with a man that the Holy Ghost has held his hands. No, sir. No, sir. It's a grand formula for victory. When he came upon Jesus, he turned Jesus to Christos, the Christ. Jesus was just a carpenter's son. Just anyone on the street. But when the Holy Ghost came, the spirit of truth, the spirit of truth, when he comes to your business, he will change it in a way that will surprise you the spirit of truth when it comes to your ministry listen let me tell you this I never listen I never stop getting amazed at the formula people invent in hope that will work out whether for ministry or whatever I teach you principles here but principles will never replace presence principles only become useful when presence is intact god is not science listen oh brilliant people i may not be as smart as you and i beg your pardon but if it has to do with victory in this life someone must hold your hands and someone must show you the physical principle of fatherhood should teach us that you never rise alone someone must hold your hands and lift you we have ignored the Holy Spirit because of the embarrassment that follows walking with him. Oh, I tell you, there is big embarrassment walking with him because your way will not be the regular way of people because your life will not be within the context of others. But if you can be foolish to still stay and say, Holy Spirit, where will I go to? Jesus said, will you also go? And they said, to whom shall we go? You alone have the key. I have watched people mock God I have they have not mocked God by mocking God directly they have mocked God by mocking his wisdom ah. 
there are people looking for anointing reading books getting all kinds of formula do a plus b add c to it then the power of god will move let me tell you this i say this by the authority of the kingdom you are wasting your time god is not a herbalist it's only a herbalist you can receive charm from without a relationship but when it comes to god he will not show you power first he will reveal himself moses wanted to see his glory he said no 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 moses i am that i am let's let's discuss first every promise god made to me i have watched it come to pass as at the time he said it i never knew how it would happen but god when he speaks be foolish enough to believe that lord you are able God is able to do strings just what he said he will do. He's got a fulfill every promise to not the Holy Ghost you are holding. Koinonia, hear me. I keep introducing him to you. Hold his hands and watch what he will make out of your life. Leave all the, the unwise people who keep mocking God. Just do A and B. C must happen. Who are you to make C happen? How old are you to make C happen? A plus B does not guarantee C in this life. The person to make C happen can die. But when God holds your hand, anything plus anything can become anything doesn't make sense look at this the dear pastor comes and all of a sudden a hand is laid on him it's not a hand that is laid on him it's more than a hand my brother if it's just laying on of hands you go and do it a hand is laid he carries that possibility enters a land that was not favoring him and all of a sudden things start changing i am a blessing to you and to the world today simply because of his ability to help me ebenezer is my testimony i am a man who has been helped by god helped in every way by god he said, if the Lord had not been on our side, now may Israel say, with the enemies that fool the world, with the enemies of the gospel, where do you stand when God does not hold your hand? The results that we now celebrate, glory be to God, but they are products of Him. Listen, if you think good preaching is what is going to give you influence forever, save Johnny. I wish you the best of luck go and search the bible and search history and find people like alexander the way who communicated mysteries that at the end of their lives they were almost committing suicide because even if knowledge abound they will cease knowledge will cease all of these things will cease but when you want to become indestructible in this life hold his hands and do what he tells you to do and walk with him don't command him and say holy spirit my boy go and bring me money that's what many of you are doing holy spirit my boy go and bring me my wife go and bring me my husband go and bring me members go and bring me prosperity 
and he says when I came to you was I a tenant or the landlord the word of God the Holy Ghost was given to us among other things to unseal this for many years I read my Bible did you know for many years there were times that I would not even read my Bible for a while I would just carry the devotional repent and read it do you know why many of you open the Bible and it wearies you you are looking at it but you are reading something that is sealed that's why you cannot get life from it you will open today you don't know what to read no not when he's guiding you tonight we are going to pray we are going to take serious time to pray we are going to pray and embrace afresh his ministry in your life his person in your life he is the secret whether you are a businessman whether you are a husband you are a wife you are a man of God you are a woman of God the starting point of your victory is hinged on your passion and your love for him listen let me tell you this before we begin to pray listen to me carefully when I was writing the things that I now do that the Holy Spirit was revealing to me at a point in time I just sat down and I said Holy Spirit you must be joking is this it this foolish I think I'm smart the thing with God is the Spirit of God is very gentle the moment you begin to interrupt his wisdom with your I too know mentality he just steps back you do it your way go ahead and do it your way some things in our lives are not just an attack is us alone without him whether Satan was existing or not is the same trouble you would have that is the natural consequence of ignoring him I love him so much koinonia is built on intimacy with the Holy Spirit he's the one who has given the Word of God value look at what the messages are doing around the world do you think that is just because the message is so powerful no if he holds your hand he holds your finances he holds whatever comes from you someone called me the other day and said they were inside a taxi a cab and the cabman every time he picks you he, he, his own gift to you is that he will play one koinonia message I don't know the cabman and he just continued like that there are people who have met angels who gave them koinonia messages not human beings they entered meetings and gave them messages I, I was I'm true to, to God I don't share all these testimonies I was told of someone who bought a memory card new memory card new brand new memory card slotted it in his phone and all he saw was koinonia message new memory card with seal seal he opened it I'm not lying to you a pastor from Gambia a great a great man of God from Gambia we spoke yesterday he said he was so depressed and he got to a point where he was washing plates in his house and he didn't know what to do and all of a sudden he said he, he just went on YouTube and how he got across one teaching and as soon as he got that one teaching his life changed he said by next Sunday the church changed and exploded he saw the manifestations of the spirit the word seeds were coming and he said who is this he introduced it to his wife the wife listened to the same message he did the wife didn't know the message he had listened to but she went to search on her own and listened to the same message you had the pastor that came last week from Abuja just arriving here someone calls him to buy 300 shares it's not the work of a man no sir our parents are struggling now and suffering because they have embraced every other thing except him our our world is dying because we have ignored him don't join them don't join them to ignore him already your past the family background you came from is already a disadvantage on his own the only advantage in your life is him when you find him 
you will forget about your enemies forget about critics i'm telling you don't waste your time just leave all those things stay with him let him hold your hand my brother my sister and watch what he will do with your church and watch what he will do with your business and watch what he will do you may be crying while you are holding him i guarantee you the cry of pain will soon become the cry of joy you just hold his hands worship team hold his hands as you sing don't carry skill and a nice voice alone we live in a wicked world if all you carry is a nice voice you will not last one year human beings will suck you like an orange and throw you and look for the next happening thing but you remain fresh when you hold him impossible to be ignored impossible to be ignored he's gonna fulfill every My God is able. He truly is able. Listen. Look at me. In Nigeria today, an average young man cannot get established without some kind of bribe or some kind of things. To have to corner and lie and do something. You want to walk in integrity and righteousness the environment is already hostile against you the fact that you name the name of christ alone is trouble for you they will hate you at your workplace hate you everywhere what then is your advantage your advantage is not just the miracles that he brings the advantage is him if you can hold his hands and say holy spirit i am weak i confess my ignorance i don't know so much i know that if i try to be established my way the church will never grow the influence will never grow but i submit to you you are the fountain of wisdom you are the spirit of truth open up to me and then the holy ghost will say all right you step back and then he will show you a b c and your life changes you will stand as shocked as those looking at you and just nod your head and say god what are you doing i hardly share my testimonies i had to minimize it because of wisdom and so that it can encourage people to rise there are things brothers and sisters if i tell you some of you will not sleep i myself the recipient of that testimony sometimes i wake up in the night and just sit on my bed and say lord what is this what is this you are the mighty god hey. That song had been in my spirit for throughout last week. I don't know how to sing. You are going to sing that song. After it, we are going to take our time and pray. Help us, please. Jesus
next 10 minutes worship team you just set the atmosphere for us you're going to take you are not asking for anything we're going to take out time and pray in the spirit one of the mysteries that we were given to accessing the mind of god is praying in the spirit i'd like you to take out time and just blast in tongues and pray seriously in the spirit lift your voice and begin to pray everywhere inside outside those online follow us as we pray
handover ceremony and say lord i come with everything both what i think is wisdom and foolishness i come in with my limitations and i come to you you are the only one who can make meaning out of my life i come to you lift your voice and pray and cry cry ah. for his presence in your life Get tired of things not working in your life and cry for his wisdom. Cry for his wisdom. Cry for his wisdom. Lord, I need you in my life. I need you in my life. I'm tired of making decisions. I'm tired of making I ask for your will. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Spirit of Truth. Hey, Shanana Nabakosa. Palaba Nabakosa. Zeketeli Gada. In Peketele Bakosa. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Then the secret was revealed Daniel did not find it then the secret was revealed then the secret was revealed I don't know what area in your life you need to see the hand of God desperately I like you to open your mouth and say Lord show me there has to be a secret open up this scripture hey open up this scripture you are the custodian of the wisdom of God. You are the custodian of truth. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me the secret to the anointing. Show me to the secret to increase. The secret to ever increasing fire. The secret to spiritual power. The secret to influence. The secret to activating my destiny. Show me alcohol. The book is sealed. Open my eyes. 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 What must I do to prosper? What must I do to rise? What is the key in the spirit? What is the key in the spirit? Listen, look up. When Jesus, watch this. When Jesus was transfigured, he showed us the secret to his transfiguration by the appearance of two men. The law and the prophet. Not just the law of Old Testament. That if you want to be transfigured, the principles of the kingdom and the ministry of the prophetic, standing side by side like Moses and the prophet, becomes your key to rising. When Jesus was transfigured, we saw two men. Elijah did not appear. Enoch did not appear. Because they were not responsible. They were not the spiritual mysteries. The Bible says that Moses, Moses stood on one side and Elijah, I meant to say, sorry. Ezekiel and other prophets did not appear. Elijah was standing representing the prophetic. Moses was representing the law. And he said, the book that contains those laws, don't let it depart. 
he's showing you how to succeed jesus did not just rise like that the law not just the law of the old testament the precepts of god you can have all the principles but there is no prophetic voice and you remain there no glory You can do something that should prosper because there is obedience to principles but there is no voice it's like ingredients if you have rice you don't need as much tomato as you need rice but don't put the tomato and see you can't say you have jollof rice because of that small tomato including salt sometimes you you need one mutu of rice and then a few spoons of salt but you refuse to put that salt and see how it will mess up the whole food something you may be missing because your eyes have not been opened you've done everything but the last key to just strike it and open it that's what I keep doing all the time that's what I keep doing all the time when I speak over your life I'm not repeating myself when I speak over your life I'm standing to fulfill all righteousness in the spirit by the wisdom of the spirit i've taught you that jesus walked under a closed heaven for 30 years as the word of god until a prophet came to his life and spoke and baptized him immersed him and his heavens were open if jesus operated and opened heavens for 30 years till he met john the baptist in the spirit and power of elijah your destiny will close almost forever until there is a voice. Listen, listen. I want you to get to a point in your life where you no longer fight spiritual realities. The earlier you learn this, the better for you. Do it before you start having children. Do it before it gets too bad because darkness for sure is covering the earth and cross darkness the people but upon you the glory of God will continue to arise it's not just because you are a man of God we trade secrets in this kingdom to stand and one of it is the Holy Spirit holding you but not just holding you opening to you the mysteries of the kingdom continue to read your Bible but don't think you will find it just by reading you will get to a point where he will give you the eyes to see they are life to those who find them that means he's missing no until he opens it to you i found certain things in my life it was bishop oyedeko that shared with us that he found the key to kingdom prosperity and he spin round and shouted yay i can never be poor i'm sure people laughed at him but you found it if you found it you found it i want you to succeed i want you to excel i'm showing you the precepts of the kingdom listen take luck out of it don't call what you don't understand luck that's arrogance there is a very serious dynamic working that you are not aware does not mean nothing is being engaged you will see what will begin to happen to your life shortly when men say why is it happening like this don't lie that you don't know what you did yes it is it is the Lord's doing that's why it is marvelous a man's doing cannot be marvelous in your eyes a man's doing is natural that's why i don't clap for you for walking because it's a man's doing men walk naturally born again or not but there are results that when we see we know that this one is the finger of god rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do this except god be with him it's a message I want you to carry to everyone you love. Jesus said, come on to me. Are you seeing now? Come on. Does not wisdom cry? Come on to me. 
why will you continue to suffer and struggle listen i'm bringing us to a point where we fulfill proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to 7 trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not he's giving you a word of caution Oh wise man, lean not on your own understanding. He says, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. He said, be not wise in your own understanding. Verse 7, he said, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It is because we are wise in our own understanding. If God does not lead me, I don't have where to go. I don't trust what I can do. I will mislead people with my ignorance. But when he comes, you can dare the unbearable. You can stand and look at Goliath and say, Goliath, you come against me with your bows and your spheres, but I come against you in the name of the Lord God, the captain of the host of heaven, whom you have defied. And Goliath, you don't mind him while he's talking. Am I a dog that you are coming with a sling? Say, just keep watching. Is the same way God can give you an instruction by the Holy Ghost. You've been dancing all the time, but the Holy Ghost will wake you by two and say, just dance to 2.30. It's not the ordinary dance. You just finish dancing. That dance will give you twins. That dance will give you an estate. And if people ask you, how did you get it? You say, I dance. They say, please don't turn us into idiots. How did you get it? I know you did all those church things. I said, well, should I lie? I'm telling you how I did it the mysteries of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom I want to release my faith with you in one minute I want you to be sensitive to from today till Sunday but I want you to ask the Lord for three major things that you want to see done in your life things that don't ask for small things carnal things ask for something that is destiny shifting as for something that that is able you know elisha had no business gehazi had no business ha having his eyes open but when he was close to elisha the prophet he said i'm not seeing what you are seeing and he said okay let me make your eyes see he didn't say just mm, take advantage of my spiritual climate and see what i'm seeing A man came in the midst of Samuel where a prophet was and all of a sudden the hand of God was upon him he prophesied naked from morning till night not because he had been praying and fasting people have prophetic implications everybody walks with the spiritual climate that they carry I want you to be humble enough to pray and ask God some of you is your family you are crying for an intervention that must step in i'm going to give you the next let's use the next five minutes i truly am going to be interceding for you i'm not praying for myself i just want you to pray and agree lift your voice and pray don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time go ahead and pray hallelujah listen you are going to pray but many of you i am you're not you're not it's not the zest of prayer let me tell you something they met the disciples of jesus and say why don't these guys fast we are fasting and these guys are eating yet they are getting the results we are not getting and jesus said for as long as the bridegroom is there so there is something the presence of the bridegroom can do there is an advantage you can take. The bridegroom is the one who the marriage feast is for. Are we together now? The covenant of the marriage is with the bridegroom. But because you are supporting through a covenant of alignment, he's saying there are some things that you may not need to do when the bridegroom is not there. In other words, I'm not ignoring that principle. It is what you should have done except for the fact that another presence was introduced that can immune you from it. I needed to share that scripture just to help you. There are some things that ordinarily, that's the way you are supposed to do. But God brings men to your life that you can take advantage of and expedite your journey. Ordinarily, 
the disciples were to fast. Jesus said, I'm not fighting fasting. They will fast one day. But for now, as long as I'm here, uh -uh. there are people that when you are around, I know people that just because you are around them, you may never need, read any book on finances. I'm telling you sincerely, except you just want to add to your knowledge. The least, the, their, their greatest state is still higher than your greatest dream. Their presence. If you meet Prince Charles and Prince Harry and say, I just got you a book on five levels of wealth, he will congratulate you for being that courageous to enter the Buckingham Palace and say, walk out of this place. Do you know why? Because as long as they are in the palace, if they are out of the palace, they will do a lot of reading. But as long as they are in the palace, I teach you mysteries. Always find out what advantage you have based on who you are connected to. Not just God alone. There are some things you are doing that if you have knowledge, you should not be doing. You should have, others may be doing it. If I'm a pastor in living faith today, I, there are some things I should not do. If I'm a pastor in MFM today and I have problem with my prayer life, I think something is wrong. There is a grace I should drink from freely. If I'm not a pastor in that place, I may need to dissipate some energy. But when God calls men, he calls men with certain possibilities. And when you come within that covering, that thing should work for you. I keep drumming this thing, but many people don't get it. It's true. It's true. Find out those who are genuinely connected to this anointing. There are things they, before they even learned the principle, the result was already speaking. It's true. As long as the bridegroom is there, you are immune. When the bridegroom leaves, so you can learn the principle so that you are not just dependent helplessly on the bridegroom, but you can take advantage of the presence of the bridegroom. You can carry a handkerchief from Benny Hinn and put in your pocket and enter a meeting and be surprised yourself at what is happening. Simply because you made contact. Do you not see that God will be wicked to allow you pray for everything? No. I don't pray for everything in my life. There are things that you can get. Jacob and Esau, those two guys, they were not praying for the blessing. They were connected to a lineage that had it. The father didn't say, okay, you guys, he said, just go and make me venison. Let me release something on you. Look at this. Esau did not receive the blessing, yet see the prosperity that came. The fact that he came out physically, that's why Ishmael today, will the residue of that prophecy must always follow him. There are things that should happen in your life. My brother, my sister, there are some things that God has done for you already. Walking, trying to save yourself from sin by your strength is unnecessary. It was done by those who the bridegroom did not come for. So they used the blood of bulls. But now Christ has come and that sacrifice that you just received, that's the same way there are other things that has been done. He gave gifts to men to ease their journey. There are things in life. Are you ready to pray? Our time is gone. I want you to open your mouth and pray. Pray. Unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Bible says he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet he shall receive a prophet's reward he that receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man he shall receive a righteous man's reward pray Shapakoto Sobrata Kashubi Adabaladaba. The Bible says, May the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. Send thee help from Zion. 
For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. For this cause, many do sleep. For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. For this cause, many do sleep. Pray believing. Pray believing. Who are down mountain before Zerubbabel? Who are down mountain before this man of God? Who are down mountain before this woman of God? Who are down mountain before this family? Who are down mountain before this business? Who are down mountain? Hallelujah. Jesus looked at Peter and said, Peter, Satan desired to sift you like wheat. But he said, but I have prayed for you. If he could pray for himself on that issue, Jesus would not need to pray. God doesn't need to do for you what you can do for yourself. Are we together? He said, Satan has desired to sift you like wheat. He said, but I have prayed for you. What was the content of the prayer? That thy faith fail not. He said, and when thou art converted, strengthen your brethren. How do you strengthen them? By teaching them that there are some things you cannot do for yourself. And when you find what you cannot do for yourself, find the grace that can make it happen for you. Peter, I see you in a situation now. I see that your capacity cannot go far enough to give you that miracle. So I came in for you. In this similitude, advocate this mystery. When you see people trying things and it's not working, tell them stop, stop, stop. In this kingdom, it's all right to be helped. Find a grace. Peter, Satan desired to sift you like wheat. And as far as your level is concerned, Satan would have, he already had a headway. But I came in, Kabbalah Kutia, and prayed for you that your faith fail not. He said, when you are strengthened. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you. One of the most uncomfortable things for believers to learn, especially because of the teachings that we've had. Um, of course, the Bible says you can do all things, I believe. The Bible says that because of the provisions that God has put in the kingdom. Are we together now? Yes. When I say I will serve you jollof rice, it's not just because I can cook. It's because there is a way of getting it available. The most important thing is that you have it. So when the Bible says all things are possible, it's because of the possibilities he invested within the kingdom. Are we together? 
one of it one of the mysteries that make all things possible is the ability to tap from higher graces you are getting there one day but if god is to allow you get there before you get the result satan will eat you up before you get there are we together so jesus as a baby could not pray for himself so god put a grace in hannah the prophetess to continue interceding until he would grow in wisdom as a baby he was killable so god had to put men to agree when he became strong he started standing for others when the disciples were weak in themselves jesus stood for them when they became strong they stood for others too that's how it works in the kingdom believe all the possibilities of the bible but be sincere enough to know what possibilities available at your level of grace and then you are able to find the grace and the anointing that can supplement otherwise you will stand in pride believing all things are possible and it may not work for you father in the name of jesus i pray for your people as inspired by you i have i've asked them to pray lord you hear me when i call in the name that is above all names surprise them in the name that is above all names i declare from today till monday that god has made my birthday in the name that is above all names help them please i'm declaring that all those who are connected to this ministry all those who are connected to this vision and connected to this anointing enter a level of strange wonders strange wonders strange wonders listen hallelujah you see i'm sharing with you many mysteries tonight hold on i'm praying for you bad days are times when unusual requests are granted read your bible there were certain requests that only happen at bad days when a king was celebrating his birthday a girl danced before him ordinarily the king would not remove the head of a prophet but on a birthday season something happened when jesus was about to be born star that would not shine that much unusually came to the sky because a child was about to be born listen this kingdom is governed by mysteries bad days are not just the days when men are born bad days are signified by things in the spirit those who study scientology know those who study all of these things know except that man is not relevant to the program of god the same way covenants are enacted 25th december let everybody die in this family by 24th someone starts getting sick because 25th is coming are you seeing and 25th a father dies next year 20th the spirit that is responsible for activating that covenant comes around again and someone starts falling sick so it is bad days are not just a celebration of the day a man was born a whole prophet had his head removed by a small girl could the king have granted her that request ordinarily what would she be doing in the presence of a king but because it was the king's birthday if you understand what i'm teaching you i'm saying this so that those hearing especially online will not say is this man idolizing this you know sometimes i'm even a bit scared to share some of these things because I, I, I want to make sure that I am understood so that people don't say I'm making you maybe worship a man or something. No, I fear God, but this is how this kingdom works. So I pray again that between now and Monday the 25th, in the name that is above all names, by the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the power that backs up this ministry, the grace that has helped me in the name of Jesus may my God bring strange signs and wonders to your life
strange signs and wonders in your finances strange signs and wonders in your life i speak to you that the things that were difficult for you before in its way that will surprise you you will enter a dimension of ease in the name of jesus christ we declare that this prophetic word be signified by the angels of the lord and let there be a strange performance testimonies after testimonies hallelujah you watch the testimonies that will be shared on monday service here and it will look as if it's a charm someone will tell you i believe this prayer and i went look what god has done in my life look how god has changed me look how god has opened doors i even pray for your loved ones that are not here in the name of jesus we connect them to this possibility by the power of the holy spirit wave your hands and give jesus thanks we have to close for the night hallelujah while standing everyone what a joy to be able to win a soul to jesus within this period there's someone in here overflow one two three who needs jesus desperately and someone online you are celebrating a man who gave his life to jesus christ what a privilege i don't know what my life would have become if i didn't hand over my life to jesus i would have been dead i'm sure long dead forgotten but i gave my life to him and he gave me his own life I want to pray for you give me the opportunity to lead you to Jesus you are in this place tonight and you have never made a genuine decision for Jesus or peradventure you've given your life to Christ but at one point or the other things just went haywire in your life and you are saying apostle I need to reconnect especially in this season we have two minutes for you aside from overflow three that I would request that you walk to your projector stand overflow one and two and the main auditorium here Please appreciate them as they make their way to the front. Someone has to be coming tonight. God bless you. God bless you. Appreciate them, please, quickly. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Are you clapping for them, Koinonia? If you are coming from outside, please make it snappy. God bless you. Young and old, you are welcome. Come. Come to Jesus. One minute. I'm counting to four. One two if you're coming from outside please run mama god bless you three you must be born again let him give you a new beginning and change your life hallelujah god bless you if you are joining them please join them very quickly i want to pray for them now you're online about to make this great decision join them also as I pray this prayer, I want you to join them with all your heart. Those of you in front here, please lift your hand and say after me, very sincerely from your heart, say, Lord Jesus. Say it again, Lord Jesus. I love you with all my heart. And I believe that you are the Son of God. Tonight, I declare that Jesus is Lord of my life. I receive your life and I declare that from tonight and forever I go forward ever and backward never I'm a child of God I'm saved in the name of Jesus help that madam Lord Jesus thank you for this glorious decision that they have made I present to you the ones you died for and I pray that the grace that saves, the grace that keep, and the grace that lift, let these graces be at work in your life. In the name of Jesus, I declare your sins forgiven. And I declare by the authority of scripture that you are a new creation. The old is past and everything has become new. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor you, cause you to love him and to continually walk in his ways. In Jesus' name I pray amen and amen please follow the gentleman waving his hands everyone hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes 
and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.